Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. in the sky to govern night and day. 
in a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be your lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. Now about eight days after these sayings, Jesus took with him Peter and John and James and went up on the mountain to pray. And while he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly they saw two men, Moses and Elijah, talking to him. They appeared in glory and were speaking of his departure, which he was about to accomplish at Jerusalem. Now Peter and his companions were weighed down with sleep, but since they had stayed awake, they saw his glory and the two men who stood with him. Just as they were leaving him, Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah, not knowing what he said. While he was saying this, a cloud came and overshadowed them, and they were terrified as they entered the cloud. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, This is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. When the voice had spoken, Jesus was found alone, and they kept silent, and in those days told no one any of the things they had seen. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God.
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this virtual gathering, and for all who offer their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us, for those who work to bring peace, compassion, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for Elizabeth, our presiding bishop, for Pedro, our bishop, for Daniel, our pastor, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, especially Alvin, Amanda, Andy, Angela, Bernie, Bill, Caitlin, Camille, Carlita, Carol, Carolyn, Chris, Cindy, CJ, Clara, Clay, Dawn, Debbie, Dylan, Ed, Elaine, Elton, Frank, Gary, Habitia, Jack, Jameson, Janet, Jamie, Jerry, John, Jordan, Julie, Karen, Keenan, Ken, the Kirkland family, Lee, Leslie, Linda, Maria, Mary, Maya, Mimi, Marion, Monica, Neil, Pastor Scholl, Pastor Bell, Patty, Pete, Palm, Renee, Riley, Robert, Rosemary, Shirley, Stephen, Stephen, Sue, Susanna, Thomas, Towns, Troy, Trudy, Yvonne, and Zachary. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work against the COVID-19 virus, caring for the sick, providing support services, and those working for a vaccine, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With the World Council of Churches, we pray for the people of Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico, for comfort and healing for families and loved ones of those who have been killed or disappeared, and that those who are responsible will be brought to justice, for an end to corruption, drug trafficking, and violence, 
for an improved economic situation where all can work and not be forced to migrate for work elsewhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Friends, for what else shall we pray? Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works. Give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen.